Yo, tapping in real quick, something light, nothing major. I had a few minutes and decided to tap in and chop it up with y'all real quick. Call it a recap, call it an update, call it what you will as far as parlays are concerned for the month of October. And this will be an ongoing thing moving forward. I will offer y'all weekly updates as far as, uh, you know, how the parlays panned out on fight night. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh... This video right here, we just gonna talk about what has happened so far in the month of October. So that's UFC 307 and UFC Fight Night, Roy Val versus uh Tiara, man. And as far as uh you know all of that's concerned, let's talk about it real quick, man. Most recently, this past weekend, Roy Val versus um uh, Tiara. Quite a few parlays that were offered to y'all in the parlay video that I uploaded came through and did what they were supposed to do. You know what I'm talking about? We had Cody and Clayton at plus 123. Then we had the triple C package, which was Cody, Clayton, and Chitty at plus 242. Then we tossed in Themba for Cody, Clayton, Chitty, and Themba at plus 343. Then we tossed in Junior. Five favorites for almost five times your money. Cody, Clayton, Clayton, Chitty, Themba, and Junior. You know what I'm talking about? Then we did a swap out option. We did Cody, Clayton, Chitty, and Jonathan. Swapped out Jonathan and did Cody, Clayton, Clayton Chitty, and Pat. And the Cody, Clayton, Chitty, and Pat hit at plus 647. You understand what I'm saying to you? We also did Themba, Tamir Roth, Junior, and Clayton. And that was at plus 242, as well as um, another five-legger, five favorites for just over five times your money. And that was Themba, Tamirov, Clayton, Chitty, and Cody. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, all of them came through and did what they were supposed to do. And then on the main card, we had Grant, D-Rod, and Jun at plus 171. Then we did uh, D-Rod, or Grant, D-Rod, John, and Abdul at plus 333, which was an early bird. And it took a hit on the final payout because the Abdul fight was canceled, but still a win's a win, and it did hit. You know what I'm talking about? As well as D-Rod and Abdul at plus 134, which hit, but took a hit on the payout. And uh, D-Rod, Abdul, and Jun at plus 255, which hit but took a hit on the payout, as well as D-Rod via points and Abdul via KOTKO or points at plus 322, which also hit but took a hit on the final payout. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, quite a few, quite a few parlays came through and... Uh, also, the other one, five legs, early bird, for f plus 578. It hit, but it took a hit on the payout due to the Abdul fight being canceled, and that was Clayton, Cody, Abdul, D-Rod, and Dawson at plus 578. It may be a few more floating around this motherfucker, to be honest with you, you feel me? But this is just, I had to go back, man. And, uh, you know, give myself a little mental recap of what took place in the parlay video, man. You know, I get to hearing all this nonsense in the comments, man. Like, uh, this isn't a parlay channel, first and foremost. And I don't do my absolute best is to offer y'all the best parlay options. And also do my best to help y'all try to find the uh, perfect parlay placement so that I can get not just myself, but everybody watching to a bag at the end of the night in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So, listen, I might not always be clicking on all cylinders as far as these picks are concerned, but as long as I'm able to get us to the to a bag in some way, shape, form, or fashion at the end of the night, then uh, my mission's complete. You understand what I'm saying to you? Very much so what these parlay videos are for and why I do all the variations of parlays that I do for y'all. Swap out options, haymakers, Hail Marys, dog plays, all favorites, this, that, and the third, and everything in between. You understand what I'm saying to you? That is why I started this channel over here in the doghouse. It's why I continue to do it. You understand what I'm saying to you? And as far as I'm concerned, 
the proofs in the parlay videos, man. I have held up my part regardless of what my pick, you know, race pick percentage might be looking like over the last few weeks. I have still managed to uh, hold up my end as far as doing what I came here to do. And that's offer, do my best to offer proper parlay placements. You understand what I'm saying to you? So that was last week. And uh, if you need to go back, go back. But quite a few parlays came through and smacked. You understand what I'm saying to you? Now, UFC 307. Boy, oh boy. You know, we had Kayla, Alex, Caesar, Alexander, and Joaquin at plus 300. Then just Kayla, Alex, Caesar, and Joaquin at plus 172. Then Alex, Caesar, and Joaquin at plus 136. Alexander, Caesar, Joaquin at plus 192. You know what I'm talking about? Those all came through and did what they were supposed to do. As well as we had a swap out option where we did Alex, Kayla, and Kevin on the main card and swapped out Kevin for Roman and did Alex, Kayla, and Roman at plus 217, which came through to do what it needed to do. You understand what I'm saying to you? Then we had quite a few down on the prelims. We had Caesar, Alexander, Joaquin, and Lucindo at plus 326. We had Caesar, Alexander, Joaquin, Lucindo, and Tisha. One that I told you, five favorites for plus 587 that I myself was invested into. That hit, you understand what I'm saying to you? Again, that was Caesar, Alexander, Joaquin, and Lucindo at plus 326. Then we tossed in Tisha for Caesar, Alexander, Joaquin, Lucindo, and Tisha at plus 587. Then we did a dog play, Caesar, Alexander, Joaquin, and Court as our dog at plus 701. Then again, Caesar, Alexander, Joaquin, and Tisha at plus 337. You understand what I'm saying to you? Just Caesar, Joaquin, and Alexander came in at plus 172. Listen, man, quite a few, quite a few. Caesar, Alexander, Joaquin, Kayla at plus 212. That was a little early bird, you know what I'm talking about? Quite a few of... Uh, of these Alex, yeah, uh, early bird, Alex, Caesar, Alexander, and Joaquin was plus 223. I noted that now it's probably going to change, so that was a little bit earlier. But still, man, quite a few parlays came through and did what they were supposed to do, you know, for UFC 307 and for UFC Fight Night Roy Val versus Tiara. That's as far as I'm going back for right now because this is a recap for the month of October, and I'm going to recap every week, weekly, moving forward. You understand what I'm saying, too? But as far as I'm concerned, man, y'all can miss me with the bullshit because I have held up my end, and I will continue to do so. You know what I mean? Very much so why there is so many different variations of parlays when I do these parlays videos for the prelims, for the main card, for the whole card, for the haymakers, the Hail Marys, the dog plays, the all favorites and everything in between with the swap out options and all that. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, it is what it is, man. I appreciate y'all for tapping in the uh, parlay video for the UFC fight night. Piera versus uh, Hernandez will be incoming tomorrow morning for the prelims, the main card, the whole card, the haymakers, the Hail Marys, the dog plays, the all favorites, the swap out options, and everything in between. You understand what I'm saying to you? I appreciate y'all for tapping in. That was a recap. Stay tapped in. Peace and blessings.